Hi everyone. Um, I uh, I'm Willem here. Um, today we are looking at week 19 of Mod Spotlight. Wait, this is week 19 of Mod Spotlight. And I would say, as per usual, I got some pretty cool mods for you today. And yeah, I do, but um, I have never seen anything like this in my whole life. Jeez Louise. I mean, if you thought you would like anime this much, I mean, this is crazy. How can someone... I don't know if this is even a real room. If it is, then I'm already scared, but this is the craziest map I've ever looked at. It's awesome, don't get me wrong. It's really, really awesome, but... Uh, okay, um... Anywho, um, today we'll be looking at some pretty cool mods. There are a lot, actually. Uh, a lot more than I thought there was going to be of these mods. So hopefully uh, we'll have some fun looking at a, a lot of them. And um, yeah, let's see how this goes. So let's look at uh, ignoring him, ignoring him, ignoring him, ignoring him. Um, let's look at our first one, which is a Shade Cormac from the Assassin's Creed Rogue series. Uh, he's beautifully modeled, as per usual, and he's got some pretty nifty uh, qualities uh, about him. I can't really change any color as far as I'm concerned. I've been trying to, but I don't really care. I think it's one of the most beautiful models I've actually seen. At least this is what I thought uh, a few minutes ago, um, until I discovered this one, which is amazing, because that's Ultron from Age of Ultron. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, there are no words to describe how cool this is. So, like, you can't change any colors, unfortunately, but he's so awesome. In fact, I'm going to kill myself now. Yeah, imagine putting that in a sentence. And look, I'm, I'm Age of Ultron. Uh, Age of Ultron. I am Ultron. And that's really, really, really cool. I love this character. Uh, well, I love this character. I love this model. My only gripe about the model is that the shoulders are just too big for my liking. Um, but we, I guess we don't see enough 3D models of them. But either way, this is really cool. And credit to the modders. Both modders, because I think both mods are really cool. Highly detailed. Um... So yeah, I really like this one. There's another funny one that I found, which is the Stickman um, player model. Actually, I'm surprised there's not enough of these on the mod spotlight uh, on the mod list at the moment. Um, and just generally speaking, the Garry's Mod Workshop. I could change any of his colors, which is really cool. Um, it makes me feel kind of nostalgia in a way because, like, I remember uh, playing a lot of um, watching a lot of stick RPG and stuff like that. And this is kind of cool to have. So it's a really cool player model. Really basic. But I actually like it. And um, yeah, it's kind of cool, actually. Really like it. Awesome job by all the modders. I think this is probably the best week for mod um, for player models. Because, let's be honest, um, they either are good or they just don't come often enough. And uh, this is just the right amount. Because, you know, it's just so cool. Look, I'm Ultron. I'm Ultron. That's so awesome. Uh, anyway, um, right, moving on from that, uh, we're going to check out some weapons. The first one, well, we'll try this one later because that one is just freaky. Uh, the first one we're going to check out is the laser jetpack. Now, this looks like a standard jetpack. Oh, so it doesn't even look like a jetpack. It looks like, a, you know, a, a fizz gun with some props thrown at it. And, yes, it is basically that, if I look carefully. But, it's really awesome. So, what I do is, basically, I shoot on the ground, and I press space, and I'm flying! Look at how cool I am! I can fly all over the place. As the map glitches out, because it tends to do, and there's weird music playing in the background. I don't know why it's doing that, but anyway! Um, it's seriously cool. 
and I really like it. And you can really annoy a couple of people on servers with these type of uh, mods. But overall, I gotta say, really good job by um, by the Mac, for, sorry, the modder for making it, because I don't think we see enough of those. Um, right, next one is Kermit's machine guns. Uh, actually, Kermit has a couple uh, lately, and. Uh, this is definitely one of the highlights. Um, I've been requested a lot to try out his weapons. But, uh, yeah. The machine gun. Have a pretty well uh, we're going to try it out on a couple of uh, NPCs, actually. As uh, I just disable uh, Atmos at this point. Because Atmos is being a pain. Oh, it's just from the map itself. Never mind. Uh, I didn't know that. At all. Uh, so let's try it on a couple of combines. Oh no, he's attacking me. Ah! Pain in the neck. So, we gotta. I gotta just spawn a couple of combines. And try out these weapons. So, let's try out the. Uh, well, we're gonna try out the first one, which is the Banichi FA6. Pretty awesome. And try then we got the Forest Camo M249. Uh, then we got the HK21E. Oh, that's pretty awesome. The only problem with this one is no crosshair. I guess you just have to zoom in. The M60. Yeah, we all know this one. That's really fun cry home about. The M4 CMAG. Eventually loads. And, uh, yeah. Then we got the RPK, but this one is a little glitchy. When I played on multiplayer, the arms seem to disappear completely. Um, I don't know why that's the case, but I guess it's not true, but it's still pretty good overall. So, yeah, after this massacre. I guess it's time to, um, try out some other stuff. Um, and the next one we got are the muskets. Now, this is from the, of course, Civil War, um, that we had in, in America a long time ago for any of my European viewers. Um, and someone actually thought it'd be a cool idea to make some, um, some muskets out of it and pistols and all kinds of stuff. There's only one problem with these muskets, as much as I love them, and actually they're pretty well modeled, I get this issue. I don't know why it does that. I don't know if this if I'm supposed to tap it gently. But it's a huge amount of um, rapid fire coming out of it. Let's try to chevrol uh what's it? Shalva V. Uh I mean, I love the smoke effects coming out of it. That's pretty cool. Uh, the pistol... Kind of close. Jeez, uh, and then we got the red pistol. And that's pretty much it. Um, they all rapid fire. So, that's pretty awesome. But that's sort of my issue with the whole mod. But overall, I gotta say, I really like it. I just wish it was less rapid fire, and then I would be using this all the time, because it's actually really, really cool. Um, the next one we're going to look at is actually some vehicles. I know, shocker, you you're, must be completely surprised. I have not been reviewing enough vehicles. Uh, this one's from Sonic All-Stars. I have never played this game. Well, I have, but just not a fan. And uh, this car is pretty cool. And uh, it has a shift button, just like uh, the uh, normal car. Um, the normal Half-Life 2 buggy car. Um, it's well modeled. There are others that you can download from the same uh, user. And uh, I think it's actually probably the best vehicles I've tried all year. Because they're just fun. I wish, actually, more people could create more maps based on, um, like, I don't know, kart racing and stuff like that. Because I think a lot of people would love to, uh, I'd love to see a lot like that, because it's just more fun. Ah, I crashed there. And, uh, see, and since, you know, Gary's Mod has so many, um, 
you know, car mods already. It just makes sense, you know, to do something like that. Uh, but I gotta say, the Sonic All-Stars is definitely a highlight um, as, a, as a fun thing. And I think a lot of you might like it. Let me know again in the comments below. And, um, yeah, I guess, actually, that, that is pretty much it it as far as I'm concerned for mods. I like this car, I really do. Th and you know, thanks to Nomada for actually making it because uh, there are some really, really cool stuff here uh, that <clears throat> that are a ton of fun to play around with. And finally, um, just for, you know, the laugh of it, uh, we're gonna try Dramatic Bomb. At, this is legit. I don't, I've not tried this yet, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh gosh! The Republic needs me! Quick! Gentlemen! We are in a... We're in a fire against the Rebellion. Alright, let's spot some humans. Disable the NPCs. The Republic is calling for us! We must survive! We must fight! You poorly rendered Metro NPCs! Come on, milady! Let's attack them! My two ladies! Let's attack them! For the Republic! For, for everything good and sane! There are more spawning on us! We must be careful! We must attack them! Because I'm totally invincible right now! For unity! For duty! For something that I forgot! We shall attack them! For our families! Yes! That was magical. That was truly, utterly, inspirationally magical. And then there would be like a prologue saying that was the end of their lives. So yeah! Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mod Spotlight Week 19. If you like these mods, don't forget to try them out on the playlist below. Um, if you would also like to check out all the mods yourself, that'd be great. I think the, all the modders would appreciate to go check all of their mods out. They were all fantastic this week. I also would encourage you guys to also let me know what improvements I can make in my videos, what ideas you have for other videos, etc. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like um, up button because that would be really, really sweet. Um, and if you don't like it, of course, free will, you can dislike the video. I'd like to hear your input, obviously, to improve these videos as much as possible. And uh, I'd also like to say, if you like these videos in general, don't forget to subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me um, as well. And uh, hopefully, that is going to be pretty much it. So, thank you very much for watching. Um... I guess I'll see you next week, but I will also see you on Wednesday for the usual uh, common videos that I like to make. Until then, I'm Willem, Thank and this was Mod Spotlight Week 19. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all safe and sound and you're healthy and all that kind of stuff. Um, and once again, I just want to thank you for all the support you guys have given me over the last few years. It really means the world to me, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys, take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye!